In this video, I'm going to show you how to create animated bullet points right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you've got a brand new composition created. We first want to begin by creating a brand new shape. So we're gonna go up to this rectangle button up here. We'll hold on to that and pull down to reveal these five options. So we've got rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse tool, polygon tool, and star tool. Now I'm going to start with the ellipse tool. So we'll select the ellipse tool. We'll hold the shift button on our keyboard and then we'll just draw a circle in the middle of our composition. And there you go. As you can see, we've just created this circle. Now this point right here, this is the anchor point and it's really important that the anchor point sits in the very middle. The reason why is if we do any animation, it's all going to animate from this point. So if it's at the end of the circle, then it's going to animate from the end of the circle. But if it's in the very center, if we do any rotation effects, it's going to rotate around the center. So in order to adjust the anchor point, we're just going to load up the proportional grid. The anchor point is already sitting perfectly in the middle. So we'll just go into the shape layer. We'll go transform and we'll go anchor point. Now we'll just move the anchor point up until the point where the circle is sitting exactly in the middle. And there you go. If we do any position or scale or rotation, it's all going to rotate from that anchor point. And that is really going to help us later on. So from here, we're just going to close transform and we'll go into contents. So we've got shape layer one contents and then we've got ellipse one. We'll just open ellipse one by pressing that drop down arrow and we'll increase the size of this panel here, just so we can see what we're doing. Now from here, we've got ellipse path one, stroke fill one, transform ellipse. But ignore these for now, we're gonna go up to add. You can see we've got this little play button next to add. We're gonna select this, and we're gonna go all the way down to trim paths. Now that's gonna create a new tab here, so we're gonna drop down the trim paths menu. And if we just turn off the proportional grid for now, so we can see what we're doing, you can see if we pull the start all the way up to 100, then it's going to animate off. And the same thing for the end. If we pull that down to zero, that is also going to animate off. So we start with zero and we bring it on with 100%. So we're gonna begin by pulling zero down to 0%. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the stopwatch icon on end. We'll move half a second to the right and we'll pull that all the way up to 100%. Now, if we play this back, you can see we've got this really nice animating circle. And there you go. We've got this really awesome circle, which has just animated on. Of course, though, if you wanted to make this bigger, then you can do so by going into stroke or drop down stroke. And as you can see, we've got composite, color, opacity, stroke width, line cap, line join, and then meter limit. So we're just going to go to color first. If we want to change the color of this, we can just select the white box and we can select a color of our choice. So we'll select this light blue and we'll press OK. And there you go, we've got this light blue circle for our bullet points. Now we'll move down to stroke width and we'll increase the stroke width from five all the way up to around 50. And as you can see, that is much thicker than it was before. So moving on, how do we add text next to these bullet points? Well, we're just gonna close everything down on that shape layer. We'll select the shape layer and we'll press S and that's gonna load up scale. Now we'll decrease the scale down to a much smaller number. We'll go to 30% and we'll move the position of this all the way over to the left. Now we're gonna press the T icon and we're just gonna type next to that bullet point. We're gonna select all of that. We're just gonna change the color of this to white to match the bullet points. And then you want to go down into paragraph and select the left align text button. So there you go. That is going to sit next to the bullet points. As you can see, I've misspelled quite a few words there, but never mind. And from here, we can now go and create a text animation. So if we go into effects and presets, we can search for type and that's going to load the typewriter animation. We'll drag that onto our title. So the bullet point comes on and then our text comes on and that looks really great. Of course, if that bullet point is too big for you though, then all you have to do is decrease the scale and it will look like this. But there you go. It's a very simple animated bullet point right inside of Adobe After Effects. I hope this video helped you and if it did, then please do let me know in that comment section below.
Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. See you there.